So you've been seeing the oversized trend all over your Instagram feed and you want to experiment. But until now, you've just been used to your slim fit, bicep hugging tees, and you don't really know how to pull off the oversized look. Don't worry, you've come to the right place. Hey. What is up guys, Tim the Saint here and today we are talking all about how to style the oversized t-shirt and for this video I have partnered with Everlane because if you've been here for any amount of time you know that their relaxed premium weight t-shirt has been my number one go-to t-shirt for whenever I want to get that relaxed oversized look. So first of all, before we go into the styling, it's important to answer how should your oversized t-shirt even fit? Because let's be clear on one thing, oversized does not simply mean grab your normal slim fit tee three sizes too big. 90% of the time, this is just going to lead to something long and narrow that looks like a dress on you. So instead, you want to look for a t-shirt that was intentionally designed to be worn oversized. Look out for words like oversized or relaxed when you're shopping. You want your t-shirt to be looser than usual around your torso and sleeves, but the actual length of the t-shirt doesn't need to be that long. You could even have a cropped oversized t-shirt. For a more or less standard length, I would say you can go anywhere from hip level to the bottom of your crotch or slightly below. So as you can see, there's a lot of flexibility here. It really depends on the look that you're going for and whether you want to tuck it in or not. As for the sleeve length, I'd say you definitely want it to be lower than your standard mid bicep length, otherwise it could look pretty weird. So I'd say anywhere from below mid bicep to elbow level or even slightly below would work. And one important bit is the shoulder seam. I think that generally an oversized tee will tend to look better with a bit of a drop shoulder, which means that the shoulder seam sits a bit lower than usual. As for the fabric, there are plenty of possibilities, but my one requirement, and I think most people will agree with me here, is that I want the fabric to have some weight to it. So not some flimsy, lightweight cotton. I want it to be a little bit heavier, have some density to it, so that it actually creates some structure and sits nicely on the body, giving it a bit of a boxy fit. And Everlane's oversized t-shirt ticks all of those boxes for me. It's roomy in the body without making me feel like I'm drowning in the fabric. It has a nice just above the elbow sleeve length, a drop shoulder, the body length hits that sweet spot where I can both wear it tucked and untucked if I want to, and it's made from heavyweight cotton. The exact name of it on their website is the Premium Weight Relaxed Crew, which I'll link in the description. All right, on to my favorite part. Starting off, we have the white top slim bottom combo, which is a very 2015 Harry Styles kind of fashion. Some might say it's a bit dated in terms of current fashion, but the silhouette in itself still works. The contrast of the fit between the top and the bottom half makes the look seem very intentional. I would emphasize that contrast even further by going for boots to elongate the legs rather than low top sneakers. For your choice of outer layer if you need one, you could go two ways really. Either a shorter jacket, maybe even a cropped one to have the t-shirt be longer than the jacket, or you could go for a big long coat to further accentuate the top heavy look. If you want to be super in line with the current trends, this might not be the best look for you, but it's definitely a silhouette that works in my opinion. It has kind of a rocker slash grunge vibe to it and does a great job in elongating your legs if you're on the shorter side. The only caveat to this look is that it tends to be more flattering on slimmer body shapes, so if you have a bigger or more athletic physique, you might be better off trying one of the next styles that I'm going to talk about. Number two, relaxed and slouchy. Think off-duty celeb kind of vibe. This look is fairly easy to start with, but hard to master, and it has the added benefit of being quite a forgiving silhouette on all body shapes. Simply grab a pair of relaxed joggers or relaxed fit jeans and wear your oversized tee untucked. The key to pull this off, in my opinion, is to manage to make it look slouchy, but somehow still chic. Things you could do to achieve this are to have an interesting pattern on your pants, making sure your clothes are clean obviously and well ironed and the most effective way is probably using jewelry to elevate the outfit. Just adding a nice necklace, minimal bracelet or some rings can really turn the outfit from slouchy unkept to slouchy chic. 
I know I cover up my fault lines with silly putty. This is my personal favorite and I call it the hourglass look. You want to emphasize both your upper body from the torso up and your lower half as well. So you want to pair your oversized tee with some straight leg trousers with anywhere from a regular to a wide fit and tuck your t-shirt in to cinch in your waist and create that dichotomy between the top and bottom half. The key is to not have a big taper on your pants, which would change the silhouette, hence why I like going for a straight leg for this look. I also like to opt for some chunkier shoes to add some weight to the bottom half of the outfit and really emphasize that hourglass silhouette. I feel like this looks particularly good with clean looking trousers with a press crease. It just makes for a Scandinavian chic type of vibe that I really enjoy. And if you add a jacket on top, I would go for something on the shorter side to maintain that silhouette. Last but definitely not least, I didn't know what to call this look so I gave it my own name, the Structured Oversized. Just like with the Hourglass, I love a pair of smart trousers for this look. Except this time, it can have some tapering from the knee down, the shoes don't necessarily have to be that chunky, and you would wear your oversized tee untucked. The intention here is to create an oversized silhouette from head to toe, but one that still has a strong structure to it. Hence why smart trousers with a press crease work well, and opting for a cropped hem also helps in creating that delineation between the trousers and the shoes. This look can be very flexible in terms of footwear, so you can really adapt it to your style. Using anything from slim minimal sneakers to chunky sneakers, from derbies to boots, the world or in this case your feet are your oyster. As for outerwear, you can go both ways, short jacket or long coat. This really is a super versatile silhouette that can give you a lot of flexibility in styling your oversized t-shirt to fit your aesthetic. Let me know in the comments which one of these styles suit you the best, which ones you would wear, or maybe that you've never tried but might want to experiment with. And thanks again to Everlane for partnering with me on this video. Highly recommend their oversized t-shirts. I literally wear them all the time. They're called Relaxed Premium Weight Crew on their website. Not to be confused with their normal premium weight, by the way, which is the same fabric, just a slimmer cut, but I'll link to it in the description anyways. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, just give it a thumbs up. Maybe consider subscribing if you're new here. I wish you a beautiful day, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.